Hello and welcome to Signature TV News Highlight for this Friday. I am Obon Mano, Marvelous. The Federation Accounts Allocation Committee has shared 640.310 billion naira to the three tiers of government for January. Hazan Dodo, the Director of Information, Ministry of Finance, Budget and National Planning, said this was revealed in a communique issued at the end of the virtual conference of the Federal Accounts Allocation Committee on Thursday, February the 18th. The committee in its communique explained that the amount shared by the federal government, states and local government areas include the cost of collection to different agencies involved. It noted that the money shared include cost of collection to Nigeria Customs Service, Department of Petroleum Resources and the Federal Inland Revenue Service. The committee also noted that the federal government received 226.998 billion naira. The states received 177.171 billion naira and the local governments got 131.399 billion naira. The Nigerian Labour Congress NLC has declared an immediate industrial action in some states that have failed to pay the 30,000 naira new minimum wage. The Nigerian Labour Congress says half of the states in the country are yet to conclude negotiations on payment of the minimum wage. This was contained in a communique issued at the end of the National Executive Council meeting and was jointly signed by the Nigerian Labour Congress President Ayuba Waba and General Secretary Emma Ubuaja. The Nigerian Labour Congress insisted that the refusal of states to pay the minimum wage was an act of criminality, betrayal of office and a dent to the public service. The council directed that all states where the national minimum wage is yet to be paid to immediately proceed on industrial action. The former Minister of Aviation, Chief Femi Fani Kayode, has advocated for Nigerians to be allowed to carry sophisticated weapons such as AK-47 for self-defense. The former Minister of Aviation, Fani Kayode, has reacted to the insecurity challenges bedeviling the nation. He was reacting to the Hesman attacks on farmers in the southwest region of Nigeria when he visited Yoruba activist Sunday Adeyemo, popularly known as Sunday Ibo on Thursday at his Ibadan residence. The former minister who reasoned that the best way to handle the security challenges in the country was for government to defend the people. However, he said that other available option was for Nigerians to be allowed to carry arms so as to put an end to the spate of killings across the country. According to him, since the Minister of Defense, Major General Bashir Magashi retired, had called on Nigerians to defend themselves against bandits and other criminal elements, it then becomes that security is everyone's business. Renowned Islamic scholar Sheikh Ahmed Gumi has assured Nigerians that the Niger abductees will be released soon. He spoke after meeting with bandits in forest between Tegina and Brim Gwari in Kaduna State. Sheikh Gumi were met with the bandits leader Dogo Gide, among other top commanders at Dusen Magaji Forest. A source disclosed that government also sent a strong delegation to meet with the bandits and dialogue with them. The immediate past chief of army staff, Tuko Yusuf Buratai, says Boko Haram has been technically defeated. He made the announcement while answering questions from lawmakers who screened him along with other former service chiefs ahead of their confirmation as non-career ambassadors designates. The former chief of army staff stunned the Senate Committee on Foreign Affairs led by Mohamed Bukachua as he told them that there was no known end to insurgency ravaging the northeastern part of the country. While calling for a concerted effort to surmount the Boko Haram terrorist group, Burata identified lack of social infrastructures, poor access to Western education as a deriving factor that has left youth vulnerable to deceptions of the terrorists. And that's the signature TV news highlight. For more details, please visit www.signaturetv.org. Please don't forget to join us later this evening for Signature 30 Minutes. On behalf of my producer, Obi Chibweze, thanks for watching. I am Obomano Marvelous, wishing you a lovely weekend ahead.